Okay, boys and girls, we have another video. We're starting a section here on exploring number patterns. Now, in this section we've described in earlier videos, we're dealing with patterns in charts, number patterns, and how to describe the patterns. And we're going to be using more and more words, words to describe our patterns. And that's the focus. That's where we want to be in this section, being able to describe the patterns and in more than one way. So now, it, with respect to number patterns, here in this introductory video, we're talking about number patterns and the different types of patterns, okay? So we're going to be exploring different number patterns. Here we go. So number patterns may be repeating patterns. So that's one type. They could repeat the growing patterns or shrinking patterns. Now the first one we're going to look at is a repeating pattern. So that we have 3, 5, 4, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, and finally 3, 5, 4, 5. So the first four terms were 3, 5, 4, 5. And if you look down the rest of this repeating pattern, those numbers are what we call the core. So those terms are the core of this pattern. And all that is, the core is the pattern that's the smallest part that repeats. So that 3, 5, 4, 5 repeats over and over again. And we call that the core. So it's the small part of your pattern that repeats itself. And that's all a repeating pattern is, boys and girls. The second type of number pattern that we're going to be dealing with is growing pattern. And that's exactly what it is. It's a growing pattern because, like everything else, it grows, it gets bigger. But it gets bigger in a predictable way, meaning we know that the next number is going to be plus 4 away from the 17. So our number pattern here is 1, 5, 9, 13, 17. So if you look here at our diagram, you add 4 every time to find out the next number. So it's a growing pattern because it's getting bigger, but it's predictable because we know after the 17, if we add 4, we get our next number, which is 21. And then we add 4 again to get the next, which is 25. So that's the second pattern that we're going to be dealing with, a growing pattern. It gets bigger whether you add a number to your last number or you multiply it by something to get your next number so that's how a pattern grows and finally I'm going to change the scene here the slide our last pattern that we're going to deal with are shrinking patterns and yes you guessed it these are patterns that get smaller and again in a predictable way because every time we subtract a number to get the next number it's always the same number so here we are with the pattern 64 58 52, 46, 40. So, like the word says, shrinking, it gets smaller, and it gets smaller because we subtract 6 every time. So, if you had to guess at the next term in this pattern from the number 40, if we subtract, thir if we subtract the 6, we get 34. So your pattern rule, when we have to describe it in words, and I want you to focus on that because that's one of the one of the focus points for this section, is you start at the number 64, subtract 6 each time. And that's how you use words to create your pattern rule. You have to be able to describe these patterns using words, boys and girls. And that's our focus. So you think you're ready? I think you are too. This is the end of this video, so once you're ready to start a new one and do some questions with me, feel free to do so. We are exploring number patterns. Boys and girls, thank you for stopping by the Academy Kids. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Watch the next one. We can do questions together. We'll see you soon. This is Mr. G signing out once again. Bye-bye.